Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Hey, are your cheeks losing volume as you age? Well, I think this is pretty common among women who are over 50. Once you start having fat loss in your face and uh, once your skin starts to lose its firmness, your cheeks start to either travel south a little bit or just in general look less plump, less juicy, less youthful than they used to. And so today I'm going to share my best tips and tricks of how to recreate that plump, juicy, youthful look without getting filler. And the only thing that we're going to use is makeup. So I've got most of my makeup on here, but I left off three products that I use just about every day that help my cheeks to look really firm, really plump, really youthful. All right, so let me bring you in a little bit closer. We'll start applying a little bit of makeup. I'm just gonna do one side of my face so that you'll really be able to see the difference. And the foundation I used today was kind of a glowy, dewy foundation, but I do set the fronts of my cheeks with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder because I do have enlarged pores due to sun damage, and I like to disguise the look of the pores with a nice matte mattifying powder. But once I've mattified my cheeks, then the matte look keeps them a little bit flatter looking. So the way that you can think about matte versus more of a dewy or luminous finish is that matte will flatten and glowy or luminous will tend to bring objects forward. So the more light that's reflected, the more that they'll come forward. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna to try to sculpt out my cheekbones. If you have a rounder face, this is really gonna help. So what you need to do is just highlight your cheekbone by making the area under it a little bit darker and putting it in shadow. So to do that, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. This is a creamy product that you can use for contouring or for bronzing. I like this one because it's really sheer and it really blends out nicely. So the last thing that you want is a harsh line of contour right there. You want something that looks natural. So I'm going to start back here kind of close to my hair and I'm just going to bring that out a little bit and then I'm just going to blend this in with my fingers. I'm mainly going to blend it down from where I put it. I don't want to blend it up onto my cheekbone because I want my cheekbone to stay light and bright. Now, if you have a rounder face, you might want to bring that even more forward. Where I already have kind of a thin face and I'm a little hollow in here anyway, I don't want to bring this and carve out a super circular cheek, but you can do that if you want. This is so sheer, let's just go ahead and do that. So let's say you want to bring this down a little more and really carve out the round look of that cheek. So now I'm just gonna take a soft, fluffy, real technique setting brush, and I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit more. As I said, I want that to be really subtle and really blended, but even though it's subtle and blended, you can see that it just rounds out that cheek where this one is fairly straight, but this is just the natural shadow that occurs there. I don't have any makeup in there. And this one just already is making my cheek look rounder and look like it pops a little bit more. And you can, of course, do this with powder. If you're going to use a powder, the one I recommend is the Buxom Staycation Vibes. All right, moving on to the next step, which is to add blush. The blush I'm going to use today is from Glossier. It's their Cloud Paint blush in the color Beam. And then you want to just take out the tiniest bit of this blush on the back of your hand because you don't want too much. Then you can just dip your finger in. I wouldn't use the same finger that you use for the bronzer, so go ahead and choose a different one. I'm gonna use my index finger. Tap in to pick up a little of that. Now, just like I did with the bronzer, I'm gonna start back here closer to my hairline and bring the blush forward, keeping it high on my cheekbone. Counter to everything you've heard, which is that you need to smile and put it on the apple of your cheek. I find that when I start by smiling and putting it on the apple of my cheek, I end up with too much blush in the front, and then when I let my smile down, my blush ends up down here somewhere, and I don't want that. So I'm going to start up here with my blush, and I'm just going to dot it at the top of the cheekbone. And this blush is so beautiful and blends in so well. You can just keep dotting and spreading and bringing it forward, but you're keeping most of the concentration back here. And then as you come forward, you can create a little bit of roundness on the front of your cheek by just patting it around in a little circle. And then you can come around and make kind of a bigger circle towards the front. All right, so the third step is the thing that really makes the cheek 
pop. So I've got a couple of different products to show you here today. One is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is a great one for doing this technique. And also L'Oreal Lumi Glotion is another one that I like to use. Now let me just show you those two side by side. So the pinkier one is the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion and the whiter, more goldy one over here is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. So depending on your skin tone and your undertones, you might pick one over the other. I'm going to use the uh, Lumi Glotion today just because it's a little bit pinker and it's a little better for my skin tone. So again, I'm not going to apply it directly to my face. I'm going to squeeze a little bit out onto the back of my hand. You really don't need much of this. Okay, so I'm just going to dip my finger into there and pick up a little bit of that. Because again, I don't want to pick up too much. And I'm going to put it directly over that blush. So starting way high on my cheekbone, I'm just going to tap that onto the top of my cheekbone. I'm going to bring it forward. And just grab a little bit more. Bring it forward right up here to the top of my cheekbone. I'm not going to go down here into what you call the apple of the cheek. I'm going to keep it high on my cheekbone. Bring it back up here at the top. And I'm just going to pat that around in a little circle motion, but keeping it nice and high. And by just patting it on with your finger, you're not going to disturb any of your other makeup. So your blush is still there, your foundation is still there, your setting powder is still there. But now all of a sudden, you've got this amazing, plump, juicy looking cheek that you didn't have five minutes ago, all with makeup. So that's it for today's video, everybody. A quick, easy makeup trick to help your cheeks look their fullest and their plumpest as you age using just makeup. So I better go ahead and even up the other side so I can record another video here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it helpful and informative, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.